on the tent. Now, when it comes to music, we are taking over the world. Not Five Live, British music. The popularity around the world has reached a new peak. Uh, the BPI figures, which record sales of albums, track sales, uh, streaming music as well, show that one in every seven albums sold on this planet was by a British artist, with these guys all in the top ten. So, One Direction, Coldplay, Sam Smith, Ed Sheeran and uh, Pink Floyd there with some of the best of British. Uh, sales of albums by British artists rose in Canada, Australia, Italy and Sweden, as well as the United States. Uh, we can speak to Claudia Benetello, who's a music journalist in Milan in Italy. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening. I, remem I remember when I was on holiday many, many years ago in Italy, in uh, Sorrento. And wow. uh, I remember that... Uh, Zuccaro and Paul Young. Do you remember that? Sensuna Donna. Yes. And uh, that, Please don't was, sing. that was everywhere, that track. <laughs> uh, and I thought, well, if this is, this is what the Italians like, clearly, uh, but One Direction, Coldplay, why are you, why are you going so mad for, for English music here? Well, as you were saying, we Italians love big melodies. That's a fact. And... If, if you look at the charts, you always see Italian artists, big names like Laura Pausini and people like that are famous abroad. They have these big choruses, anthem-like songs and stuff like that. But when it comes to British music, I think that we love it because British acts tend to have, they tend to have the full package. They've got the songs, they're talented, they've got amazing production, amazing sounds, which is something we, I think we lack. And, you know, they've got the looks, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that, got could, the package. that could be helpful as well. I mean, do, I don't know how, how widely Eng English is, is spoken I I in Italy. I mean, do, do most, can most people speak English? They can't, can they? But so can, they can they follow exactly what's being said in all of these tunes? In, in fact, I mean, um, when it comes to Italian music, we tend to pay a lot of attention to what the lyrics are about. When it comes to foreign music, we just love the sound of it, I think. Mm. So we, we don't really care what the singer is singing about. As long as it sounds good and he looks good or she looks good and the production sounds fresh and modern, then we're into it. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Who's, who's big in Italy that we should, be, uh, we should be listening to at the moment? You mean Italian artists? Yeah, yeah. Well, Ligabue is like pop rock. He's really big, but we're talking about mainstream music, you know. Uh, hip hop is quite popular. It's quite hip. Well, uh, no pun intended. At the moment, so we've got lots of hip hop acts. Italian, Italian hip, -hop hip hop. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Italian hip hop act in the charts. Um, and then you know, um, Il Divo. It's it's an operatic trio operatic pop trio okay. and they just won the Saremo Festival and they were famous abroad, they were not that big in Italy, but now they, they, they uh, uh, performed at the Eurovision Song Contest, didn't win, but they're starting to become popular in our own country right. as well. So Thank you, Dokie. Yeah. Well, very nice to speak to you, Claudia. Thank you very much indeed. That's uh, Claudia Benatello. Um, see, it's a shame this isn't the last item we do.